back to handwriting and story mapping with Mrs. Owen. So, today we're going to be doing something totally different. Today we are going to be working on revising our stories, okay? So, when we revise our stories, friends, what we do, we go back to the very beginning of our stories, all the way at the S, okay? And we begin to change our sentences around and change our ideas around so that they sound good. Or that all of or that our stories have all the details that make a complete story okay so friends I started writing my story about making Easter eggs and I know many of you came on live with mrs. Owens a few weeks ago when we did our Easter egg die okay celebration on a Friday so I decided to write a story about that so I'm going to read my story to you. I'm going to only read the STNO, okay? And then you tell me what you think. How do you think I can revise my story to make it better, right? So here it goes. At school, we had an Easter egg making event, okay? That's my, my S. That's my setting. That's where it took place, okay? Now, talking characters. My classmates were there and many teachers, okay? Those are the people that were present, that were there, okay? Now, my O. Okay, remember, the O is the, oops, there's a problem, right? Here we go. I couldn't find my glove. I was so nervous, okay? So friends, what do you think about my STO so far? Do you think it's really good? Or do you think it could use some work? Yeah, I agree. It could definitely use some work. So, first of all, what I'm noticing, tell me if you're noticing the same, I'm noticing that my story is lacking detail. It doesn't really have a lot of detail. It's just really, really straightforward and plain. At school, we had an Easter egg making event. My classmates were there and many teachers. I couldn't find my glove. I was so nervous. So it leaves a lot to be desired, right? I am wondering so many things. I'm wondering, well, hmm. I know that it happened at school, right? I know that it happened at school, but when did it happen? What day did it happen? That's a detail that we could add in there, right? I know that my classmates were there and there were many teachers that were there right but i'm thinking that i want to change this around because because mrs owens was actually hosting the event i would say that many teachers were there and many students or my students were there and many teachers were there so i think that's one way that i could revise this part right I couldn't find my glove, I was so nervous. Okay, so, I couldn't find my glove, I was so nervous. So, hmm, I'm thinking that we could add in a little bit more to this part right here. The oops, there's a problem, I couldn't find my glove, I was feeling so nervous, right? What did I say? What did I do, okay? at this particular moment. So friends, let's get into the business of writing. Let's add some details into this story, okay? So I have my handy dandy red marker or pink, and I'm going to jump right into my revision process, okay? At school, we had an Easter egg making event. First of all, I'm gonna write on the Friday before Easter because this is exactly when my event took place, right? So here we go. Let me see. On the Friday before Easter, my school had an Easter egg dying celebration. Okay. So friends, it already sounds 10 times better, okay? On the Friday before Easter, boom. Now I have a better 
idea of the setting, not just at school, but the exact time frame that it took place. My school had an Easter egg dying celebration. So that's even more information, not just an egg making, an Easter egg making event, but now it sounds more exciting, more juicy, right? So friends, let's continue. Now, this was Mrs. Owens' first time hosting an event, right? So I'm going to add that in there. I'm just going to throw that in there. This was my first time hosting a Friday celebration. Okay. This was my first time hosting a Friday celebration. Okay. Friends, I think another thing that I can add in right here is some character feeling, right? To talk about how was I feeling. Remember, this was my first time hosting a Friday celebration. So how do you think I was feeling, friends? Yep, I was pretty nervous. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write that in here. I was super nervous okay so i was super nervous friends now <clears throat> let's move on to the t i think it's time to move on to the t i think the s is pretty much well revised right now my classmates were there and many teachers okay so friends remember that i said Remember that I said that I wanted to change that around because since I was actually hosting the event, I would I think it's a better idea to say many of my students were there and there were also many teachers, okay? Or there were many students present as well as teachers, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jot that down, okay? Now before I do that though, I have to come up with a really, really cool transitional phrase, okay? To connect the two parts. I'm thinking, let me see, what could I say? What could I say? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, I got it. Luckily, luckily, okay? Luckily, Okay, so I'm writing the word luckily because like I said, I was really very nervous, okay? So luckily, my daughter and son were there, okay? Luckily, my daughter and son were there, okay, to assist me. Luckily, my daughter and son were there to assist me, okay? And who else was there, friends? That's right, many of my students and other teachers, okay? So I'm going to add that in. And many of my students and other teachers. Okay, so, so friends, having my daughter and son there, as well as all of you and many other teachers, made me feel so much better. So I think I'm going to add that into, the, into my story, okay? That made me feel so much better okay that made me feel so much better okay friends i think that that's pretty pretty good okay i think that's pretty good for my talking characters okay so now i want to jump down here to my oops there's a problem okay i couldn't find my glove i was so nervous Okay, so friends, as I said, that's just like 
blah, not interesting, not juicy, doesn't do anything for you as a reader, right? And that's not what we want. We want our readers to be on the edge of their seats. We want our readers to be super excited about what we're writing about, okay? So, friends, I couldn't find my glove. I was so nervous, okay? <clears throat> First of all, before I start adding on to my story, I need a really awesome transitional phrase to connect them, just like up here, luckily, okay? Now, I'm thinking, let me see. I couldn't find my glove. I was so nervous. Oh, I got it. Here we go. Just then, okay. Or you know what? Not just then. I'm going to change that. Cross that out. Just as the event was beginning... I noticed that one of my gloves was missing, okay? All right, friends, just as the event was beginning, I noticed that one of my gloves was missing, okay? Let me see, what can I add on to this part right here? To make it sound so much better. Hmm. Well, when I think about that particular day and I and me realizing that my gloves were missing, I remember saying, looks like one of my gloves are missing. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I remember that. Looks like one of my gloves are missing. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write that. It looks like one of my gloves are missing. It looks like one of my gloves are missing. <clears throat> okay. Now, how do you think I felt at that moment when I realized that the event is starting and one of my gloves were missing? Friends, I felt super nervous, okay? There goes that nervous feeling again. So I'm going to go ahead and write that into my story, okay? It looks like one of my gloves are missing, I said. I started to feel nervous again okay friends i think that i revised this story pretty good so friends now you see from before i had i had so little detail i just had basically one two three sentences not a lot right but then when i went back and did my revision okay i started to change my ideas and I started to add more sentences to make my story more full and complete, okay? So this is how we revise our writing. So friends, for homework, this is what you're going to do. Remember, last week you all wrote a story about a time when you got hurt. Remember, Mrs. Owens wrote about her nail breaking. I want you to go back to that story, friends, and I want you to take the S, T, and O of that story, and I want you to revise it, okay? You're gonna go back to the very beginning, right at the S. You are going to revise it, you are going to add, you're gonna change some, you're gonna have some new ideas, you're gonna change your ideas around, okay? You're going to add more sentences that give us more detail, okay, friends? This is what you are going to do for your homework. I can't wait to see you next time, bye!